So we have enrichment classes for everything, art, music, sport. Kumar is uniquely Singapore. His brand of humour is the best. Trust at least through Singapore ghost stories. Singlish. An obsession in rankings. Advanced medical infrastructure. Pasar Malam. Public Notice SG. Having a PSA for all the basics, like courtesy stuff. We could be at Blue Jazz Cafe and still hear the call of prayer from the mosque. When it comes to a crisis like the pandemic, we do trust the government. I think a lot of times we like to emphasise Singaporean exceptionalism. We create a sense of superiority complex. I fear that we will close the doors to learning from other countries. The Singapore I recognise and treasure is the one that is multiracial. My father knew Malay well, he could write in Jawi, and he had to learn it because his students were writing about him on the board. And he and my mother spoke in Malay when they didn't want to understand. Kalau anak itu dari kecil dididik dengan sebaiknya, jadi kalau daripada situ kita sudah uh, mempunyai semangat untuk uh, campurkan dia orang uh, dengan masyarakat uh, berbilang bangsa, jadi dia orang sudah ada hati itu. I'm I'm always really inspired by the work of the other companies like Drama Box. Were they able to bring Singaporeans together, whether in public spaces or in more conventional theatre spaces, to have these facilitated conversations about things that are actually really important to us, but that we don't usually talk about? I think the theatre that we create in Singapore is really on par with, with that uh, in many places in the world. In theatre, we kind of enjoy certain freedoms. Uh, and I think there's a, been a long history of pushing the envelope. The Singapore I recognize is a Singapore which is full of contradictions because human beings are full of contradictions. I am quite heartened by the level of non-mainstream ideas that come out of Singapore. It's very useful and healthy for a society to have counter-hegemonic voices. I think the Singapore that I recognise is open and warm, uh, rich in many intangibles, but yet we've allowed uh, the rich in the tangibles to crowd out these intangibles. The Singapore I'm most proud of is actually the Singapore of the activists. It's not just people who are here at Hong Lim Park, but it's also people who in their own small, quiet way are standing up for what they believe is right. society is important because we women had to fight for what we have gained. The Women's Charter of 1961 was the most progressive legal document anywhere in the world at that time. I always believe that repeal would happen in my lifetime. <laughs> Singapore I want to see would be a Singapore where people can hold space and love for each other and be happy for each other's successes rather than competitive. I would like to see that more people get representation. Even on television, I hope that we get to see more mainstream artists who are of different races and not just one token artist. Inclusion, diversity, openness, I think it really stems from that kampong spirit. A great sense of to be included is by first helping and including others. Kita mau aman damai sama uh, semua masyarakat. 
marginalized communities such as your migrant workers, domestic helpers contributed one way or another into this idea of like Singapore. I think we can do better definitely in including them in the narrative. The Singapore that I want to see places more trust in its people. You know, otherwise we have quite a paternalistic system where it's seen that uh, apparently people don't know what's good for them. I hope that as Singaporeans we will take a step back. And I understand that it's tough, but in the end, it's about the moments, it's about the experiences that make life ultimately worth living. It's okay if you know things are not working out or that we are not a perfect country. I think we need to take it as a way to strive to be better. Uh, politics should be the domain of every single Singaporean. It shouldn't be the case where somebody wants to say something, oh, if you want to have this political opinion, you must join politics. I hope those days are long gone. I hope for a more democratic Singapore, and I hope for a Singapore where everybody has an equal chance to have their voice heard. And it may seem uh, really remote and, and very far away, but uh, there are these flickers of hope all over Singapore. There's so many ways to love Singapore. There's not only just one way. We can be proud of our financial material wealth, but we still have a long way to go in recognizing and celebrating our humanity of the neighbors who surround us. Singapore and Malaysia have been together in harmony now for years, okay? We want to keep it that way. If you cut a Malaysian person's veins and you cut a Singaporean person's veins, it's the same thing running in our veins. Malaysian water. <laughs> Are we sorry or not? Yeah. Give them a round of applause, okay? Hopefully one day we would be able to see ourselves as like enough and in turn see the merits in all these other people who are just trying to do their best. Hopefully that as it strives more towards uh, modernity, uh, that it also still can look back on its history so that no one gets left behind. We all have to be true to ourselves, our real selves. Not our imagined selves, but our real selves. That is important. <laughs> <laughs>